Once upon a time, there was a young man named Senzu who lived in a town at the base of a tall mountain. Senzu was always lost in a world of his own while the bustling town moved around him. Most of the time, he spent laying on the river bank, looking at the sky. His village, on the other hand, was full of hard-working people whose hands and minds worked endlessly in fields and shops. People in the town used to joke, if laziness were a contest, Senzu would win it without lifting a finger. One sunny day, an old monk known far and wide for his wisdom was passing through the town. He saw Senzu lying on the river bank while others were tirelessly working in the fields. He slowly walked near Senzu and said, Young one, what are you looking at? Senzu didn't reply and continued to look at the sky. The wise old monk sat down beside him and said, When the clouds pass by the mountains, the sun's ray transforms the cloud into beautiful shiny crystals. And it is said that whoever holds the crystal and says three magical words, all of their wishes get fulfilled. All of a sudden, Senzu got intrigued and stood up. What are those three magical words, old man? He asked the monk. The monk smiled and said, Why don't you go and climb the highest peak and bring me back a single crystal and I will tell you those three magical words. Senzu looked up at the mountain and said, That's impossible. I am far too lazy to climb all the way up there. The monk smiled and said, Ah, but you see, the crystal is not on the mountain itself. It is on the other side of the mountain, in a river flowing through a cave that can only be reached by climbing to the top and descending the other side. Before, Senzu was bored with his life because it was always the same. His eyes, which often got blurry from daydreaming, were now burning with interest in getting his wishes fulfilled. He got up, brushed himself off and said, OK, I will go. The climb was long and hard. The mountain, which was tall and cruel, pushed his limits and tested his will. Senzu was out of breath and sweat soaked his clothes. He was so tired that he could feel it in his bones. With each painful step, he felt a thrill and a sense of purpose grow, which helped him keep going on despite being tired and in pain. When he finally reached the top, he was tired but happy. As he took in the beauty of the world below him, he felt a surge of success that made him forget how tired he was. But the real test was still to come. He had to go down the other side of the mountain and find the cave where the crystal was said to be. The trip down was dangerous. He stumbled, fell and scratched himself raw. But each fall made him more determined to keep going. The thought of getting his wishes fulfilled kept him going on and the idea that it might exist became his motto. His heart was racing when he finally found the cave. Inside, a clean river flowed through where a single crystal made a halo in the dim light. He picked up the crystal and was amazed by how beautiful it was. But his happiness did not last long when he realized he had a problem. How was he going to get back up the mountain and give the crystal to the monk? He thought about giving up, but then he remembered how proud and happy he was when he reached the top. He knew he had the strength and the drive to do it again, so he started climbing back up the mountain. Even though his muscles hurt and his lungs burned, he didn't give up. Instead, he pushed himself to keep going on because he knew he had gotten over his own laziness and done something truly amazing. When he got back to the monk with the crystal, his pride was bigger than how tired he was. The monk smiled and said, You see, my son, embracing laziness is no way to truly experience the richness of life. Laziness is neither an irreversible state of being nor a sentence of stagnation. Rather, it is a challenge 
that has been laid before you an opportunity for growth it is a hurdle that stands in your way not to stop you but to allow you to leap to gather your strengths and to jump higher than you ever have by beating it you don't just beat laziness you also change becoming a version of yourself that is stronger more determined and better able to deal with life's other challenges each one of us like senzu harbors a mountain of untapped potential hidden beneath layers of self doubt complacency and sometimes idleness let this story serve as a mirror for self reflection reflect on your own life your dreams and your trials think about the mountains you are yet to climb and challenges you perceive as too daunting to tackle now remember the journey of the young man and his transformation from a lazy dreamer to a determined achiever if he could transcend his barrier so can you let this be a reminder that your greatest enemy and your most formidable challenge is not outside but within you it's your reluctance to step out of the comfort zone your resistance to change overcome this and you overcome all barriers that stand between you and your dreams dare to dream dare to climb and dare to discover your potential embrace the struggle for it craves the path to success and when you stand at the summit with the magical crystal in your hand and hear the sound of your victory you will realize that you are never really lazy you are just a dormant volcano of potential waiting for the right moment to erupt if senzu's journey resonates with your own give this video a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your loved ones who may be on their own path of self discovery and don't forget to subscribe for more inspirational tales and transformative life lessons the real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new landscapes but in having new eyes as you watch this let these words inspire you to rise above your perceived limitations to challenge the boundaries you have set for yourself remember within you lies a boundless ocean of potential dive in dive deep and when you emerge you will not just be a dreamer but a doer a victor thank you for taking the time to experience this shift in perspective until next time take care and keep shining